if you can try to avoid uh, sleeping too much uh, the first day uh, but uh, we are organising um, a reasonably early meal for you so that you can get uh, a good night's sleep tonight and the format this afternoon is that we're going to go first of all into town a little bit of sightseeing and then we break for lunch in the downtown area and then after that we'll do some more sightseeing before getting to the hotel in the late afternoon you'll have time to unpack to shower and just to feel a little humanized again before you can then come down to dinner uh, this evening and we'll be telling you the times for that uh, a little bit later on and then you can get a, a reasonably early night and my advice to you as well just to help that jet lag is if you can drink as much water as possible it does help uh, dehydration does really help so uh, that, that uh, water bottle are quite important some of you I know purchase water in the airport, you can purchase water in the various shops in London. Some places can be more expensive than other, um, but generally anything for about £1.50 is the average price. If you're paying over £2.50 then you're probably paying a bit too much. Okay. Uh, water is safe to drink here incidentally, so if you uh, are in your hotel room, the cold water tap is perfectly safe to drink. It just may not taste quite the same as it does at home uh, because it's quite hard water in London and uh, you do sort of taste that, but uh, it is perfectly safe to drink. We're not a nation who drinks um, a lot of uh, very, very iced drinks. We are getting used to the idea and that's been the 
you could see a lot of the big houses which have been converted either into hotels, which is very much the case here, or into apartments. The other thing we're going to see up here, though, is the area of the museums, and it's fantastic. It's going to be on the left-hand side of the road. It's a bit further up just yet, so give yourself a chance just to try and get yourself truly awake so that you can start to see these wonderful sights. We're going to stay on the bus. Um, we can't stop very often uh, to do uh, photos because it's actually very difficult in London without a traffic warden pouncing upon Paul Richard. Where it is possible, we do get you out of the coach. Uh, but we will be stopping uh, various places on other days as well. So even the things that we can't... We are finally getting off the coach of London at Piccadilly Circus. Yay, out of the coach. <laughs> We're here, guys. Yay. So as long as you can see the arrow facing towards you, the bow and arrow, you're on the right side to meet us here, and the time will be four o'clock. Can we all coordinate our watches? Have you changed your time? Have you changed your time? It's about two minutes past two, yeah. So we've got two hours. As far as restaurants go, you will find some restaurants along this way. There's more pedestrianised area that way, and it's quite fun with quite a lot of little shops and so on. And uh, you will find that there are restrooms, as I've mentioned, in Lily White, just over here, the big department store for sports clothes. I'm going to stay here for a couple of moments in case you have any questions. But are you happy? Four o'clock here. Is there anything else that you want to add to that? No, guys, uh, you know, be smart. Uh, I know we're tired, I know you're a little bit out of it right now, but it's a sunny, beautiful day in London, take advantage of it. You're in the heart of London, in case you don't realize. This is the heart right here, Piccadilly Circus. Any direction from here is actually interesting, frankly. Down Regent Street, back down toward anywhere around where you are right now, everything's interesting. You're in the heart of it all. So, if you're hungry, which I am absolutely not, <laughs> um, go ahead, but... So just stay together. I would strongly advise not wandering off on your own. At least there should be two of you in a group, or you can go in clumps of a group. Got it? Do whatever you want. I am heading to Regent. Sorry, it's me. I'm going to go that way. If you want to come with me, you're welcome to. That's all I'm saying. So this is our first night outside of London. It's really cool. Feels like Christmas. The green lights are beeping. The roads are actually kind of small here. Yeah. There's an Indian restaurant right there. I know. Indian. Look, also fine Indian. Okay, there's Italian. There's the cafe. Neuro. <laughs> but we call it Happy Nerd. Yes. We watched Matilda. It was amazing. Best ever. Sorry you can't see it. First sign, line up by two right here. And then First sign. it feels like Christmas because there's lights all over the Line up by twos, I don't care. I didn't understand where it was. our peeps. Line up by twos. We need a count, guys. Guys, we need a count. We need to do like a roll call. Yeah, we need to do a roll call. We're gonna ask the line up by twos right now. We're gonna count. I'm here, but I'm gonna go. I don't care. Right now. Let's do the last number we did for. Okay, we find, I know we found Sydney, but we up in two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Alright, we're losing people, so I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so we're on an adventure. This is our hotel in London, St. Guy's Hotel. This is our bus, right? Yeah, that's yeah. our bus. This is our hotel. Pretty fancy, I guess. Oh, everybody's coming this way. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, hi, Ashley. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Reception. Um, Elevators. Where else can we go? It's like, is it locked? Aww. We can't find the pool. I found the pool. <gasps> she found the pool. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. There's the pool. Okay, we're going downstairs. <laughs> so we're gonna see the pool. <gasps> this is a YMCA club. Never been down here before. Oh, there it is. Whoa, okay, there's a badminton court. We're going court. down there. We're going down there. There is a gym. Oh, come on, come on. There, yes. Give it to me. Over there is the running section. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and then those are Pilates, if you can zoom. Can you zoom? No, you can't zoom on this. Ah. You have to go with round. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Oh, they're so oh, cute. So you have to pay to... Oh, that's... They have a British accent. They're so cute. Can we buy a swimsuit just to go That's so there. sad. We can't go in. Let's see ourselves in the mirror. Hi. <laughs> okay. Where else can we go that we haven't gone before? Do you know how much I love that game? Badminton? Yes. Or? I didn't that know you like badminton. I love badminton. Nobody's good at it though, so I'm never able to play with anybody. That was good. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was very nice. <laughs> I want to play. British. Do we know? No. Okay. But the swimming oh. pool. Okay, oh, that is fancy. Look, okay, he's playing cards in order to exercise. Like, who does that? See, right down here. Oh. Or he's just collecting cards. Or just like relaxing. That's your way of relaxing. Yeah. Can you go, Ashley? Look at all these cool Okay, emotions. bye, guys. We're at St. Paul's Cathedral. This is so cool. Oh. Oh shoot, they're so pretty! Yeah. Hey guys, so we're about to go to the Tower of London. You want it? It's American, you're American. It's a dime. It's a dime. Many Chinese toys. Oh, well, I want to order on the food here. Are you taking on video? Yeah. Oh. That's why I was vlogging. Oh, okay. Is this the video? Or? Yeah, this is a so, video. So, this is on video. <laughs> That's Justin Wong. That's and Justin Park. Yeah, I'm Jay Park. <laughs> I'm Jay Wang. Jay Wang. It's so pretty there. The old London Bridge, right? It's called the London Bridge. The London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> and there's Steven. Or the, what's his name? Mill Nevet. Mill Nevet. This is our jacket. And there's the dictator. The what? <laughs> nice. Name, oh my bro. god. What is that? 
So we're between Tower Bridge and London Bridge. It causes a lot of confusion in London, but London Bridge is the one that's over there. Can you see where I'm pointing? Just up the river that way. It's a very plain, ordinary bridge which dates from the late 1960s, early 1970s. Our last London Bridge is the one which is in Lake Havazoo in Arizona when we sold it. It was a 19th century, very plain stone bridge as well. And that in turn replaced a bridge which was there in medieval times and had been built in the 1100s. It was built on piers across the river which so slowed the flow of the river down that during the winter time it would completely freeze over and they would have big fairs on the ice, they would go skating on the ice, they would roast whole oxen on the ice during the winter time. This was a frequent occurrence and youngsters would race the rapids between the piers of the bridge. It was a totally different sort of London, I can tell you, with houses on the bridge, with a chapel on the bridge, and on the far side of the bridge, the heads of the executed as a warning to travellers coming into London. They used to boil their heads to preserve them so that people would recognise their features and there would be some pretty famous heads there, like Sir Thomas More, the man who actually stood up against Henry VIII over a small question of religion and whether Henry should be the head of the church or the Pope. So he met his end and his head was displayed on the London Bridge there. So uh, I can tell you a lot of history with London Bridge, but what we see there today is a plain ordinary bridge. The earliest bridge there is probably the time of the Romans, but the bridge which everybody thinks of is of course this one over here, and this is Tower Bridge. Tower this bridge. bridge was only built in the late 1890s and it was as the result of a competition to allow big ships to be able to come into this deep water port where you can see the um, battleship just over the river there, which is the HMS Belfast. That's permanently moored there, by the way, and it's a museum uh, of the war. It's the uh, uh, Imperial War Museum's ship. And the last time it was in action was during the Korean War. It was involved during the Second World War in the sinking of the Scharnhorst. So this was all very important here as a port. And the bridge allowed for big ships to come through and still does today. Can you see the central road section? It raises, it's called a bascule bridge. And it raises up and ships which have masts up to uh, 40 feet can actually fit under there at low tide. And we do sometimes see this happening. Sometimes we can be in the tower and you'll just hear the noise of the hooter that goes off to warn traffic that the traffic lights will change. Otherwise, I'll have to jump the bridge as it's opening, which a double-decker bus did once in the 1950s and got in the Guinness Book of Records. So uh, Tower Bridge is what you're looking at, 1890s. And it was built in the style of the Tower of London and it was very controversial at the time because either they went with the traditional style or they did something and Mr. Isaac Newton and another and you are not permitted to interfere this is an ancient tradition you may want to sit inside Tower of London Red hair, one, seven, seven, red hair. This is a church of the two 
Ruined by that little crane. So cool. And the porch. It would be so much clearer if it was just that clear. Yeah, it's just a bit chalky. Come down on this side. This guy's laughing now. <laughs> Take pictures with him yeah, when he okay, stops. Yeah, stop. There you go. Okay, go. No, go, Marco, no. Chloe, go, go. No, uh uh, I'm going first. All right, here, take my picture with him. Go next to him. Yeah. No, you can't go next to him. Will you take my you picture? You can't go next to him. You can't. Well, he's not walking. We're entering the crown jewels pretty soon. So we're standing in line for the crown jewels. It's really hot actually. It feels like 90 degrees outside. It's a really long line. Look at that. What? Oh. Is that recording? Oh. You sure? Oh shit, you're recording. <laughs> Bad language. Oh. Who is this? It's Richard, Stephen Chu's brother. Mm. No, look, look at his ears. Oh, they're so boiling. Your brother? No, other oh. Stephen. No. Uh, I know. I think there's two Stevens. Yeah, this one Stephen and the other Stephen. Uh, Justin's getting us ice cream over there. He's still in the back of the line, amazingly. Oh yeah, just can't wait to get inside this thing. Oh, scoot up. Okay, thank you. Uh, there is Edward. So yeah. it's my first time <laughs> eating fish and chips at London Eagwood. Wait, why didn't you guys go back last time? Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> he went with me to the White Tower. <laughs> fish and chips. And then my mom gave me this. So we're basically walking down these really steep stairs. It's really steep. We're in the White Tower. Yeah, we're standing right there on the edge. <laughs> Look how steep it is. We were just at the Crown Jewels, now at the White Tower, we're still going down, we're going out. <laughs> We saw a lot of armory and really cool stuff. Here's more. Cannonballs. Guns. Artillery. Pistols. 
spirit. Pretty thing right there. Taking way too many pictures right there. <laughs> okay. And are we out yet? This is really pretty. Yeah, this is just like a museum. Oh, this is like souvenir. Alright, bye guys. We are now crossing the streets of London by Westminster Abbey. There's underground station. Jaywalking. Chach Hell, Winston Chach Hell, right here. the Westminster Abbey apparently don't really know what this place is but yeah it's the Westminster Abbey Justin P bought a flag yay yippee doo da we're just waiting in the bus right now we're gonna start our tour Okay, we're going to step off the coach now. We're going to go meet up with the other guide and uh, just make sure that we've got our correct breakdown of who's with who. And remember, everybody, that we will be meeting at the front here at the bookshop. And I'm just to going to double check what time that we're going to meet before I completely confirm. So just to absolutely confirm, we're going to meet in front afterwards at 4.15. The idea is we do a guided tour, then they will be given some free time uh, and uh, we'll be meeting in front of the bookshop just right here at quarter past four. Singular sensation. So we are now entering the West End show, Matilda. And let's see what it looks like inside. We're going to find our seats, get seated, and see what's there to bring. Ooh, nice so far. Wait, we're 28, so yeah, right here. 28, where are you going? Okay. Left. See, told you it's nice. Okay, bye. Picks here. You can see these are all all the lady picks. <laughs> Sometimes you see the piglets out here as well. Aww. Vegetarians don't think about the end game here. Comes in weight and they had to drag them here, probably by rollers. And the other thing you can see very well from here, can you see the single fairly tall stone? It's got a little lump on the top of it. Can you see what I mean? Look, 
Justin. We are now entering Stonehenge. Oh. It smells like farmland. Of course, cow maneuver. <laughs> are you doing one of your pot? Yeah. <laughs> There he is again. He keeps <laughs> popping up in my videos. <laughs> there it is. It's so cool. It actually is pretty big though. This is so pretty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the camera can't capture the beauty. No, I'm sorry camera, you can't see the real beauty. Wait, 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 back up, back up. I gotta take a picture. Okay. You know, for some reason when I see this, go I think closer. of basketball. There's some kind of electrical force hidden in between these bars. It was so scary because we got electrocuted. <laughs> you made me mess up my shot. Sorry. <laughs> but there's the stone head. Yeah, we have to go back to the bar. Yeah. This time I will not sleep. We have to go. Alright. Bye Stonehenge. Nice sleep. seeing you. Wait. on the right, um, they will probably be um, early 1920s, 1930s. Some of them would have been a bit earlier in the 19th century, some of the older warehouses there. Uh, Place. So we, I don't have actually seen them yet because I've not been to Bristol this past month. Uh, but I know that there will be a few up near the cathedral, and I know that there will be some down near the floating dock as well. When they were actually bringing them into Bristol, Tagalog. Yep. <laughs> Yay! We're going on the cruise at the river Thames, Thames River. This big bend. This is this reminds me of the um, USS Arizona. In um, Hawaii. Mm. Hawaii. You've been there before? Yeah. <laughs> Please do not run. No corre. 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 It's pretty cloudy today. This is vlog number 152. It's kind of sprinkling outside. This is her next vlog. Reason says it's to death by being put on a boat. Taken through Straits Escape inside the White Hat Tower where they were beheaded for their crimes. And known as the first one way street in London, as you uh, never came out of it again. King Henry VIII took the building into a zoo with animals given to him from around the world. He charged three and a half pence to go inside. However, it was free of charge if he fed a cat or dog to one of his lions. Oh Yummy. Originally moved to Regent's Park, it's closing today, and it is known, of course, as London Zoo. One of the reasons they moved the zoo was because the lions kept trying to attack the soldiers. Inside here today, the crown jewels guarded by the British Army and the Beef Eaters, the Cooley North Star, the largest cut diamond in the world, also on display here. Brilliant, brilliant landmark, and such houses of Parliament and the clock tower to our right. But we're going to go under Westminster Bridge, which will enable you to get a lot better view and some, some fantastic photos of, of this landmark. It dates back to 1860, home to our Parliament. 
the United Kingdom, our government is separated into two different houses. In the red, you've got the House of Lords, who are made up of non-elected members of Parliament. And in the green section, you've got the House of Commons, who are made up of elected members of Parliament. You'll see the red and green divisions once you pass through Westminster Bridge. And of course, they wave at people on the route who are taking your photo and will subsequently post it on Facebook in the next 30 seconds. Smile! You keep them happy, it usually prevents them from spitting, so it's quite a good cool thing. I'm never lucky enough to get chocolate or money thrown at us. So, the window cleaners are probably in my mouth, look at that. As you're looking at Parliament, um, I've already mentioned the Lords and Commons, you can see their separate divisions on the right hand side. They're not allowed to communicate with each other inside this building, hence the red for Lords and the green for Commons. That's to prevent corruption within politics. If you look under, the, yes, if you look under the middle windows of the House of Parliament, you'll see coat of arms, and these represent all of the aristocratic families in England and in Wales. Look under the lower windows, and an inscription in Latin can be found repeated around the outside of the building. This is the Lord's Prayer. A wave of the people that they're very excited by you. That's a terrible wave. If you're gonna wave, wave properly, give them a cheer. Flying, that's Victoria Tower, named after Queen Victoria, the monarch on the throne when this version of Parliament was built, as I mentioned earlier, in 1860. A flag is flying, um, it means nothing anymore. But originally, when Parliament were at work, that flag was raised to indicate to Queen Victoria that they were indeed at work, as that flag could be seen from Buckingham Palace. In return, she would fly a flag from Buckingham Palace whenever she was inside. Buckingham Palace, to this day, will raise a flag when someone of royal importance is inside. This tradition of Parliament ended a few years ago, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, the flag is still uh, raised. Now, the building itself was actually designed by two men, Augustus Pugin and Charles Barry. Barry was known as the God of Gothic, uh, making stationery for the royal family at the tender age of 13. Neither man saw this building uh, finished, unfortunately, both passing away before it was completed. It replaces a previous version that was sadly destroyed in a fire back in 1834. It's designed in the Neo-Gothic, the Mock-Gothic style of architecture. House of Parliament is one of three World Heritage listed sites that you can Hey Marinette, hey Wileen. Guess what song's playing right now? I'm about to ride the London Eye, so it's like basically a Ferris wheel which takes 30 minutes to go on full 360 degrees, so you can see like the whole of London. Oh, How many minutes. videos are you taking? I don't know, a lot. Oh, no. Oh, nice. I miss you guys. I'll see you soon, okay? Love you. Bye. This is so beautiful, guys. Oh, yeah. Take a picture of me next to your thing. Way better than anything else. Any city I've ever seen. We're almost at the top. Almost at the top. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
shouldn't be freaking out, but I'm freaking out anyways, because it's, you know, it's a roller coaster. It's not a roller coaster, it's just it's like just this big dildo with swing. A, a fast swing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to record on my iPod now. I'm scared you'll drop your camera off. Okay. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, I can see my, my shoes. Oh, this is it. Oh shit, we still yes, got so Yes! Yes! Do you feel this? Like on your feet? Oh, oh my feet are gonna smell so good after this! Oh my god! Oh. My feet are gonna smell ah. so freaking good after this! this they, they've been smelling like rotten tomatoes for like man. three days. This is better than the London High, actually. Yes! Yes, keep going! This is better than the London Eye. And we could just keep riding this if we want to. Man, uh, Oh, it's kind of slow, actually. It's the fastest. Yeah, I think this is the fastest it goes. Oh, that's slow. Come on, lift down. <gasps> free fall! This isn't gonna free fall. <laughs> if it does, yeah. We're dead. No, we're not dead. We're just gonna be in pain. Oh, I can see my house from here. <laughs> I'm getting quite dizzy. Oh. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Whee. Oh, we're coming down already. Oh, we're not coming down. My feet are gonna smell so good. <laughs> it's fine. This is more like just looking at view. Yeah. Just faster. This wasn't worth it. Oh, well, then there's more stuff, though. I think. Hmm? I don't think this is worth it, but there's more stuff in this amusement park that we will pay for. I think this is pretty worth it. Uh, this is pretty worth it. these people Indians? Like, the ones working. Yeah. Is this... Are Indians Maybe like India's like Mexicans? Close. Huh? Maybe India's... Is it? No. M maybe is it like close? Indians are like the uh, Mexicans of... Of, yeah, Europe. Yeah. There's Jamaican people too, like... Um, you could hear their accent. But the like, problem is I can't like differentiate Jamaican people I'm from... I'm black. Yeah. yeah. You just, when you hear what they're yeah, saying... Yeah, like, da man. It's like... Mm -hmm. they, have, they have that weird accent. Like, the black people in our hotel. They're Jamaican. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. See? We're still going. Weren't it? Oh, we're not going down yet. Yeah, yeah. Am, am I, like... My feet are getting sort of numb. <laughs> it's like cold. Cold too. Yeah. See, look at our feet. It's like down oh, there. Oh, your battery's outside. I know. Are you still filming? Mm -hmm. hey, that's a bike station. Okay, we're going down. Oh, boring. Okay, can this thing at least free fall for a bit? <laughs> that was exciting. And in we got beginning. off in the wrong foot, so I don't know where my shoes are. <laughs> See, see, like they're all knees. I'm dizzy. They're all knees. Oh my god, this I'm again? dizzy. Oh. Can we ride this again? You have to pay another. No, we don't. We can ride it again? Yeah. This is a freaking amusement park. We, we can ride <gasps> it as many times as we want. No way? Yeah, yes way. So we can we can even like ride the carousels and. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> I thought it was just this once. No. no. Okay, let's ride this again then. Thank you. Just ask them to make sure. Yes. I'm 
we're walking on the bridge where they filmed Harry Potter. Remember the part where like the Death Eaters were coming and the bridge was falling down? Oh my god. This is I know! <laughs> We're actually here! <laughs> oh, it's the, the bridge is falling down. Get some good pics of the bridge, Sean! Awesome! <laughs> Something to remember. <laughs> So this is what you call the Wadley Bridge. Covent Garden guys, not actually the marketplace. The marketplace was Borough Market. We went there yesterday. This place is so cool. It's like an outlet. We just went to this 
soap store, which is really cool. We got some gelato. And now we're just trying to find lunch. Alright guys, talk to you later. Peace out. This is so awesome though. Yep. It's like stairs with water. Uh, it's cold. I know. I, yeah. I've gotten used to it though. Alright. We're gonna eat dinner. Falafel. And then have our first performance at the Bristol Cathedral? I, I think so, yeah, Bristol. Like okay. This is vlog number 55. <laughs> Wait, do that thing. No. <laughs> Hi. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. <laughs> nice try. As well, during the uh, uh, early days of the uh, 19th century, we started to, for instance, get lots of uh, uh, Jewish immigrants coming into London, uh, some of them to escape persecution, uh, most of them in fact for that, but many were also for economic purposes. During the uh, early 20th century, we do start to see some of the uh, uh, um, people coming over from India and Pakistan, and uh, it really just has given such a, a dynamic aspect to the, the culture. You see this lady here on the left, look at her wonderful bright colours, and wow. you can find some fabulous restaurants around London. You just can find practically every nationality's food uh, in London. So I'm actually, well, let me work this out, I think I'm third generation. You probably noticed my strange surname. It was actually built originally during the reign of Henry VIII. Sometimes when we've got uh, official goings on, you'll see the guards on duty and the sentry boxes on the left. But in the meantime, we see a lot of visitors who play as sentries just over there on the left hand side. Lots of really quaint shops up here. Take a look on the right. Can you see that very old wine shop and then the hat shop locks and then lobs? This is such a, a gentleman's club district around here. I think we came around this way on the first day and I was telling you about the very first sandwich being invented on one of these gentlemen's clubs. Uh, if you don't remember the story, if you were fast asleep, it's all to do with a man called the Earl of Sandwich. And he was uh, a bit of a gambler, to say the least. And uh, in his club, uh, they had a gambling table. And uh, when he was on a winning roll, he decided that he couldn't possibly spare the time to go off and uh, go to the restaurant and get something. Think, uh, probably to eat, so he got the butler to bring him some bread, some ham, and in his uh, haste to get We're in Oxford, Hogwarts, guys. We're actually here. We're now entering the halls of Hogwarts. Remember when Mrs. McGonagall transformed into a cat? And then the first years were coming up to the dinner hall. To be seated into their houses. Standing 
Hall. Hospital of Hogwarts. Where they have to have, it's actually an order that they have a copy of in every printed book. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, they did it anyway. They should be like, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and
Okay, so it's my last day in London. I'm just about to say bye to this hotel room. So, yep. Let me show you the bathroom. It's very high. We're on the fourth floor right now. Oh. I'm room 473. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you in California. That lock is overhead. The lock is in the wire. The point is hard to find. But this will do. Or if it's something useful you'd like to keep handy, you can slide it under the seat in front of you. You're going to have to follow any directions from the crew, any signs that light up overhead. If the seatbelt sign does light up, get back to seat and clip into your seatbelt. It should fit snugly and be low across your hips like this. They recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight. But... If you do need to get up, undo the seatbelt by lifting the flap or pressing down on the button. If you're seated in a sky couch row, there are special instructions in your seat pocket. If an oxygen mask suddenly drops down in front of you, you could use it as a portable loo, but a much better idea is to pull down on the mask, place it over your nose and mouth, and tighten by pulling on both sides of the elastic. If you're seated with children, like a good scout, be prepared by putting your own mask on first before helping with theirs or others who may need a hand. Don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate, oxygen will flow through these tubes automatically. If an emergency were to happen during takeoff or landing, either breast the sound for the seat in front of you, or place your hands on your head, your elbows on the outside of your thighs, and your feet flat on the floor. If you're seated in business premiere, sit upright, hands on your knees together against the wall, and feet on the edge of the ottoman. Something you can always rely on that is within easy reach of your seat is a life jacket. In economy class, it's located under your seat. If you're seated in a sky couch, it's in your leg rest. In premium economy, it's here under your seat. And if you're seated in business premiere, it's located here beside you. That's super easy to put on while seated. Take it out of its pouch, put it over your head, clip the strap together, and pull tight. Pulling this handily placed red tab inflates the jacket. Chops away. But don't tug it until you've left the aircraft. And if you need more air, blow into this mouthpiece. If you've got an infant, flight attendants will be on hand with a life jacket for them too. If you need to light up on the journey, just hold back. You should know smoking is banned in every nook and cranny of the aircraft. And of course that includes all the loos on board too. If needed, there's escape path lighting to guide you to the nearest exit when it's dark. Oh, it's a rude awakening for the taste buds. Your crew are now pointing out your exits, so take a quick scan of the area and count the number of rows from your seat. Keep in mind that your nearest exit may be behind you. How off all electronic devices during takeoff and landing. Transmitting devices like mobile phones can play havoc with